Okay, what we're going to be making today is a marvelous mushroom pot roast. Uh, for this, we can use pretty much any pot roast. Uh, we have a nice blade roast here. As you can see, I let it dry out on a rack, something I like to do. And I just season that liberally with salt. Both sides. Okay. Then we're going to season it with pepper liberally. Now we're going to be browning this in our pot. You want to choose a pot that is something you can put in the oven. I've got a really old Dutch oven thing going on here. Uh, these are Bakelite. At the temperature we're using, you can use them in the oven. Okay, now that we have that seasoned, we're going to add a little bit of oil to the pan. Okay, I've got the heat on already. Okay. Okay, what we're doing here is we're just browning it, uh, bringing the flavor in. Okay, for this recipe, the we're going to need a large package of sliced mushroom, salt and pepper, mushroom soup, four cloves of garlic, and two large onions, sliced. Oh, and of course the beef, <laughs> which is browning as we speak. We're trying to get a pretty good little uh, brown crust on this. We don't need to cook it. This is just to get some browning going on. So. I want to keep moving around a little bit. And flip it every once in a while. Okay, as you can see here, uh, we've turned it a couple times. It's been browning for about 10 minutes now. Uh, we don't have to worry about cooking it. We're just taking it out now. And putting it over here to rest. And we're not going to waste all those beautiful pan drippings. We're going to add in our onions. That's two sliced large onions. And four cloves of garlic. Now, if you need to, you can add more oil in at this point, which I think a drop would do for me. get that in there we are going to reduce this down to medium and we're going to keep an eye on them until they uh, start to brown just fast forward that bit okay and as you can see the onions have started to brown and we have some lovely flavor going on the aromas are beautiful most of the pan stuff come off the bottom but you can add a little bit of water or stock or whatever you happen to have handy to scrape any remainders out. I guess I put this off the sides too. Okay, now that you got your onions cooked, now is the time when you're going to add your mushrooms. Uh, that's one large, uh, one medium pack of sliced mushrooms. And we're going to add in our mushroom soup, can of mushroom soup. Or if you like, uh, you can use a homemade variety. Just uh, thicken it a bit. Well, not thicken, I mean, you know. Just stir all this together. And if you are thinking at home, damn, that sort of looks like a stroganoff. You're not far off. It's actually a lot of the same flavor profile, which is why it's good. <laughs> Okay, now we're going to add a little bit more water. I was going to add beef broth, but I checked my cupboard and it ran out. <laughs> Might seem a bit soupy right now. Uh, you have to remember, this is going to be cooking for another two and a half hours. 
So we actually need a little bit of moisture in there to get into the beef. Now, there's no need for it to be excessive. Okay, now that we got that all stirred, now we add the roast back in. Okay. Okay, now we got our roast in. Tight covered fit, uh, tight fitting cover, which this is. I don't know what the dishwasher did to my pot. I don't know. If anybody has any like uh, comments on how to fix that, it's a really, it's actually my great grandmother's, um, and I put it in the dishwasher, and the cover got this white. It's not a coating. It's like the actual pot itself was discolored. So if anybody has any like solutions to that, leave in the comments. Um, we're going to put this in a 325 oven for two and a half hours. So let's fast forward to that. And here we have our marvelous mushroom pot roast. Um, beautiful. Melt in your mouth. Uh, we've let it sit now for about 10 minutes just to get everything settled. So we just slice her up. I'm going to have a little bit extra because I really like it. Okay, now this is good with a bit of carrot. I have the mushrooms and onions, which I got out of the. There you go. And that makes a lovely supper. So, if you have any questions or comments, you know, leave them in the comment section below. Uh, don't forget to like and, you know, subscribe. And as usual, bon appetit.